hello, uh, my viewers. Um, as you can see, we're at the title screen here, about to start the game, but um, not all is well. I have a confession to make. I'm a fraud, okay? I'm not stupid, I'm not a genius, and I'm not even 55, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. I hope I can redeem you by playing this game here. We're gonna go to career, and we're gonna just click, you know, continue right now, and... Hey, great work, Mac. Now let's and take yeah, down the next we have him here. I hope I can redeem you. We're gonna do title defense today, which is when the John Lasta. They talked about opponents coming back, and now we have to fight each opponent again, except they're different. I'll see why there can't be any new opponents trying to steal our title, but whatever. This will be. This will. I. This. We're just gonna see, you know, the old ones coming back, and but they'll be new now. They'll have like more. Call. They'll be better now. And you think Glass Joe? Uh, this is a, he has a, a kind of headgear on now that you get after you have lost a few times. You might think, oh, Glass Joe, let's just blow through him. <laughs> you know, like, not, he's nothing, he's not, you know, powerful or anything. You know. He's, he's not gonna be a threat, right? <laughs> As you can tell by my, you know, insistence, by my, you know... Like my uh, exaggerated speech, I think you could tell whether or not that's the case. <laughs> See, like that's just some him at the doctor. That's his. Yeah, it's not anything. Right? You can't punch him in the head now, and you think that's not going to be a big issue, right? Oh wow. Um, huh. I'm actually doing worse at him than I usually do. And he is not easy this time. As you can see, uh, he'll do an attack that sort of, um, I'm doing a lot worse than I usually do. Um, that may have looked easy, but, um, trust me, the first time you do it, it, it is not. He'll, he'll have an attack where he will look down as he uh, does one of those hooks. And if you dodge too early, you will get caught in the punch. Like, you will get, like if you dodge too early, you know, you have to make sure he's, his head is raised. That's when he punches. It's not like Bald Bull, except he'll deliberately do it this time. Also, you can punch him in the stomach uh, when his uh, his headgear turns yellow. And I was. Uh... Oh wow! I did. Uh, I meant to say that I knocked him out, but you, I didn't get the special animation thing. I'm actually doing worse at him than I usually do. Usually, I can beat him pretty quickly. And yeah, he is pretty easy, but the first time you fight him, trust me, he is not... You do not want to take him lightly. He... That whole trick thing, the thing he did where he would, you know, uh, he'll do a hook, but, you know, he'll look down if you dodge, because it's kind of a delayed punch so that you... so that you dodge too early and you'll get caught in it. Make... Case... Main point, make sure he's looking at you before you dodge. He's looking up, I mean. Um, we have Von Kaiser again. Tight. Uh, I was about to say title bout as I clicked it. Title bout. Um, um, we have Challenger. Oh, I'm the champion. He's obviously. How come he gets to fight me instantly? But, you know. They, I had to like go through a bunch of opponents just to be able to face Mr. Sandman. I don't see how these doofuses get to fight me. Yeah. Um. He no longer goes down in one hit if you do a star punch while he's stunned. 
Ah, oh, I, sh well, um, I should have, you know, uh, um, kept my block up. He'll also sometimes uh, make you think. Basically, he'll do like a fake uppercut. I shouldn't have, you know, like done the star punch thingy there, but. Um, one, two, so yeah, sometimes he'll uh, hold out four, his arm, five, and it'll make it on, like. Oh, by the way, make sure you dodge in the opposite direction when he comes out. That attack actually knocks you out it down and hit, I should say. Uh, um, see when he just extends his arm there, but he doesn't actually punch. Can be kind of disorienting, I guess. It's not like Last Joe or anything where he, you know, would, you know, like if you dodge that, it won't really, you know, it's not gonna do. There, there isn't really a penalty if you dodge his uh, fake uppercuts, to my knowledge. Aside from a challenge that you can complete, but I'm not doing that yet. So. I don't know what else to say about him. I might have to take him in the second round. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take him in the second round. Fudge sickle. As Amir Blumenfeld would say. Hey Mac Baby. Are you I don't know. I, I mean I guess the comedy of I don't know, I guess Jake and Amir has kinda of changed a little bit, but to say how's your new year actually it's been like a few i've been a little while since that's happened and plus you know that horribly considering that i'll actually date the video quite a bit if i talk about new year the new year since you know what, what are you going to really care about it like a few months down the road in march if you hear that happy new year to you especially since i don't get a lot of viewers so. I'm gonna alienate a lot of them if I talk about that at length. Hint to hint hint for people who do that. And remember that attack knocks you down. Remember, uh, it, when he when he jumps to like when he goes to you know the back of the ring and like lunges at you, uh, that attack knocks you down in one hit. So be sure to remember that. I always wondered why he makes this weird, like, ticking noise before he punches sometimes. Or, you know, I guess it's, I guess he's kind of like a bit of, since he's kind of a stereotype, I guess. Maybe he's supposed to be like an engineer or something. But even though he's more, I mean, he was like in a military academy, so I don't know why. Not to mention him being an engineer wouldn't necessarily. Oh. Ooh, yay, I got him. I was a bit early on that, that line. My brain was kind of early there. So, don't think the commentary is delayed. That was my, that was my... Well, my commentary was delayed, but it's not because of a mistake in the editing. It's because of a mistake. Of my brain. Hands off, hands off, baby. Ain't no one touching your belt. Um, continue. <sighs> so, how was your day today, viewer? Good boy, Disco Kid. Um, title about. I'm just shouting randomly the name of the. Thing before I click it for some reason today. I don't know why. Um, he has gotten quite a bit more eccentric since the last time we fight him, it seems. Uh, he's, for some reason, got gloves on a stick or something, and he's part of this boxer size group. And I know, it, I think I saw it called, 
I think it's called Boxer Size because I saw it on Wiki somewhere. And I don't see why he installed a disco ball in this. Now flex. In this, you know. Let's go. Arena, so to speak. He hasn't changed a whole lot much since the original. He's wearing purple now, which I kind of find a bit funny. Uh, so I'm trying to get like star punching on him, by the way, if you're wondering. I should have saved that star punch for later, but whatever. At least it still looked awesome. You know, it's one of those things that's uh, pretty, you know. It's flashy and cool, but kind of, you know, it's impractical, so. Make sure you duck through that. Like, like the attack where he uh, does those three punches, be sure to uh, duck or those. Duck those. Because you, you have to be really good with the timing, actually. Otherwise, you get caught in one of those punches he does. Yeah, as you can probably as you probably guess, the amount of punches he does uh, is dependent on how many times he, you know, uh, does a jumping jack. I would see how little Mac doesn't just go there and punch him in the middle of one of those jumping jacks, since he's he left himself quite open. I can teach you one three. But, you know, I guess, you know, he's more show than tell, if you know what I mean. That doesn't make sense. Uh, I meant to say he's more, you know, he looks better than he acts, I guess, you say. He's, I don't know, he, maybe I could say it would just be a case of him, his bark. It's kind of similar situation to their bark is worse than their bite, but he's not hands off, hands threatening. Off, he's just Ain't flashy, no I guess. So, or he's attempting to go for something flashy and cool looking, but not that. Yeah. But we're about to enter King Hippo. Or, that sounded bad. Whoops. Uh, no. <laughs> Yikes. That was not good, but... <laughs> but yeah, we're about to fight King Hippo again. And he has a, uh... One of those, like, uh... Those manhole cover things. Yeah, one of those manhole cover thing, Manhole covers that he... He somehow tapes... Duct tapes to his... Um, he just steals one and he duct tapes it to his stomach, so we can't hit him. I'm not quite sure how legal that is, or how... <laughs> um, make sure you punch him in the mouth, and do what I did, you know. Punch him three times in the direction. Yeah, when he does the thing, you know. Dang it. Now the manhole cover is, you know, is off, and it conveniently rolls, you know, off the stage. Not that it, you know, probably hurting many people in the audience, or probably hurting some of the audience. I mean, it's not going to hurt a lot of people. Um, and the attacks he did at the beginning of the round are just like what he's about to do, you know. Whenever he opens his mouth, it's same rules. Whenever he opens his mouth, you just punch him in the face and punch his stomach in the bunch of time. I just realized that King Hippo kind of covers the uh, timer. One, two, three, like his head covers the timer sometimes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, Maybe not. Um, some, of his, some of his attacks. Uh, for one attack, he'll do where sometimes he'll open his mouth and then 
You have to punch him on one side of the head, and you have to punch him on the other side of his head, then punch him in the stomach a bunch of times. I don't think you can knock his crown off in this fight. Land the knuckle sandwich. That is such a, you know, clever pun there. How did he find... You know, I noticed that he oftentimes has to pull his pants up. How did he manage to find shorts that were too small for him? I mean, too big for him, I mean, obviously. It'd be pretty easy to find shorts too small for him, but too big? <laughs> like, who, who I don't know. I guess... You know, see where he'll, like, uh, cover one side of his head? Make sure you hit the other side when he opens his mouth, and then punch the opposite side of his head, and then punch him in the stomach. Why? Not now. But again, you only have to knock him down once to knock him out, so to speak. I was too late. Just like what I did there. This is what I was talking about earlier. You know, right before I just knocked him out. If I was too... I guess I was kind of... Bladed reaction. As I sometimes have. But little Mac... Managed to land the attack. You can always take a whooping. Okay, I I'll never do that again. I promise. I promise. Never do that again. I will. You're the champ, son. Let's celebrate. I'm gonna buy you a giant Good chocolate time. bar. Doc Lewis and chocolate. I don't know if that's supposed to be a race stereotype. Um, I'm honestly not sure. I mean, chocolate is the same color as his. You know. In the next episode, I guess we'll find out. Or not, since that's it's not related. We're gonna go... Uh, this was World S, I think? We're gonna go to the next World, which has all the opponents for the Major Circuit, in the next episode. See you there. Goodbye.